Hello guys, this is chapter one of Hero. <clears throat> the ball arched through the air and came down fast. Hero pumped his legs and hurtled across the grass. His stride long and graceful, but strong. One minute, he had four paws on the ground. The next, he was sailing upward, closing his jaw around the ball. He landed effortlessly, taking the impact on his hind legs. He wasn't even panting. Did you see that? Ben shouted at Noah. He's amazing, Noah said, shading his eyes to watch Hero race back with the baseball. He's like half bird, half dog. Ben never got tired of hitting balls for Hero, and Hero never seemed to get tired of chasing them down. But the only person who loved playing baseball more than Ben and Hero combined was Noah. This year, Ben and Noah were determined to make the seventh grade varsity team. They came with Hero to the baseball park every day after school to practice throwing, hitting, and catching, and to give each other pointers. Hero bounced back toward them, a slobbery ball perched in his mouth. What time is it, Noah asked. Ben looked up and noticed that the sun has sunk lower in the sky. 4.30, he said. I have to go, Noah said. Yeah, us too. Come on, Hero, time to pack it in, Ben said as he gave Hero a scratch on the head. Ben, Hero dropped the ball at Ben's feet. Hero flashed, Ben flashed Hero the hand signal for stay. Hero stood still. Ben was still mastering all the signals and verbal commands his dad had been using with Hero for years. There wasn't much need for, Hero, for Ben to give Hero the special ones like search and track, but Hero knew other commands that would be fun to use like when to start and stop, whether to run or jump, when to turn around and come back. Hero could stop, walk, could stop walking mid-step if he got the right command. Hero's training was at an expert level and he always followed orders. That's what a police dog did best. The dog fixed his serious eyes on Ben. His left ear twitched. He cocked his head to the right. Ben was learning his every expression and gesture. You see that look he gives me, Ben asked Noah. He nodded. That means he wants me to throw one more ball. Wow, your dog is not only a hero, but he can talk too. Noah looked down at Hero. Hero wagged his tail. Ben rolled his eyes. No, seriously. If he goes like this, Ben bobbed his head up and down. Doing his best dog impersonation, he needs to go out to, you know, do his business. If he, his head moves to like this, Ben twitched his head to the left, then right, and back again. He hears something outside, like he's on watch or something. Noah looked like he couldn't believe what he was seeing. Ben, are you seriously acting like your dog right now? Ben shrugged. Maybe. Noah dropped to one knee. He held Hero's head in his hands. Keep an eye on him for me, okay? Hero. If he starts to become more beast than boy, let me know. Hero licked him on the nose. Noah laughed and scratched him behind the ears. See ya, pal. He stood up and hopped on his bike. Ben, hit a few more balls, would you? I know I don't need to remind you, but tryouts are in two weeks, and we both have to make varsity or it won't be half as much fun. Ben grimaced. No pressure though, right? Right, for real though, Ben, Noah said, suddenly serious. I know you've worked really hard to play shortstop, but you know how coach is. He's not going to just give it to you. You need to show him you need to be ready for tryouts. I will be, Ben gave his best friend a confident smile. Okay, we can practice more tomorrow. Noah pedaled oh. off. Bye, he called out over his shoulder. Bye, Ben said. Most of the time it was great when your best friend was baseball obsessed. But sometimes it was just stressful. Hero watched Ben furrowing his brow and wrinkling the soft patch of fur between his eyes. Okay, boy, Ben said, one more ball. Ben hefted the ball up and down a couple of times. Hero's pointy ears prickled forward and he dropped into a crouch. His whole body was ready for the chase. Ben let him wait for a long moment, enjoying Hero's excitement. The dog was so alert. If Ben so much as twitched his pinky finger, Hero noticed. It was like Hero's whole body and mind were in sync, absorbing everything around him. Whatever Hero did, he did wholly and intentionally. That's what Ben needed to do. 
His dad called it acting with a purpose. Slow down, Ben, his dad would say as Ben raced by on his way to his room to do his homework or to baseball practice or to an early morning newspaper club meeting at school. Ben just powered ahead without thinking things through. It was the same thing with baseball. He wasn't the most precise player. He just hit the baseball as hard as he could. Ben heard his dad's voice in his head, slow it down, breathe, act with purpose, kid. That's how cops do it. Hero whimpered as if to say, let's go get on with it. Focusing as hard as he could, Ben lifted the bat over his right shoulder, tossed the ball straight up in the air. He swung, the ball cracked against the bat, then flew up and out, way, way out. Whoa, Ben yelled. He couldn't believe how far he'd hit it. It would definitely have been a home run. Hero went from standing totally still to galloping after the ball. Ben had no idea how he could get moving so fast. The ball landed in the grass with a thunk. Ben took off after Hero and caught up to him on the other side of the baseball field, where the park began to give way to heavy woods. Hero pressed his nose to the ground, his nostrils flared with short, quick inhalations. The ball wasn't there. Hero zigzagged, following his nose, then stopped and sniffed repeatedly in one spot. Spring wildflowers were just beginning to jut out of the grass under Hero's giant paws. Where is it, buddy? Ben asked. Hero kept his attention on the ground. He walked slowly toward the tree line. What do you smell? Ben followed him. Hero picked up speed and started to head deeper into the woods, where the trees were close together and the other undergrowth was thick. How could the ball have traveled this far? Ben wondered. Something was different about Hero's movements. He was completely focused. His ears pointed forward. His nose was working double time. His tail, which usually curved down by his back end, back legs, was up. Even his fur seemed to be paying attention. Hero was tracking. Ben had never seen Hero lock onto a scent like this before. He was in full search and rescue mode. But for what? A baseball? That seemed weird. Ben was excited to watch Hero in action, but he was not excited to be late for dinner. They were going to have to hurry this along. Hero, buddy, my mom is going to kill me if we're late again. Hero pressed his nose into the grass. It's just a baseball dude, Ben said. It'll still be here tomorrow. Ben was about to give Hero the stop command when suddenly Hero's head shot up. He took off at a full sprint around a dense cluster of trees. Ben sighed. He watched Hero run and then came to a sudden halt. <laughs> Hero stood as still as a statue, watching something intently in the leaves and vines on the ground. A soft woof came from his throat. <gasps> ben jogged after him. What is it? Ben trailed off. There was his baseball, but how? Out of the corner of his eye, Ben saw a flash of movement, a blur of brown and white leaping over the ball. Hero and Ben watched as the blur tumbled and rolled and pounced. It stopped moving and sat up. <clears throat> The ball gripped firmly in his teeth. It was a puppy. All right, that's the end of chapter one, Hero.